Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Hall of Famer Bob Berry ruled Milwaukee's airwaves in the 60s and 70s. He spoke with countless musicians and celebrities over the years. Bob collected remarkable recordings of these encounters, which he's now sharing with the public. Here's Bob. Richard Simmons was an American fitness and health guru. Love for his energetic personality and motivational approach to wellness. He rose to fame in the 70s and 80s with his unique exercise programs and flamboyant style. Simmons created the iconic Sweatin' to the Oldies workout videos. He was also known for supporting various charitable causes. Richard had a passion for others and left a lasting impression on generations of fans worldwide. So get up, get moving, grab your sweatbands, and turn up the music as we get some tips from the late, great Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons is out of here with us, and I want to tell you, what a bubbly guy you are. Are you always this bubbly and full of life? Well, I guess it's just my priorities. I really like what I do, and I see so much negativity, and I see people who are so numb and who really don't get out and do things, and I try to motivate people to... It's, to me, there's a little Richard Simmons in everybody, somebody who wants to just be very effervescent and excited and, and have good motivation and to be as positive as they can. How heavy were you when you started uh, exercising, Richard? Well, I had given it up many times. I tried when I was 200 pounds, and I just didn't feel that. I thought that I was too far gone. I thought that I couldn't pick up the pieces and go back. And then when I was 268 pounds, I couldn't jump around a lot because I couldn't breathe well. Mm. But I did walking. So I began doing walking at about 268 pounds. And then as the weight came off, I began walking faster and stretching out. And that's how I began, basically, by walking. Can you actually change your metabolism once you start exercising? May I tell you, do you exercise? I, uh, well, I play tennis. and I, I. Well, that is part of an exercise. That's about it. But it's more of a sport, Bob. Yeah. But when you play tennis, you get that adrenaline going. And your body lets out like a, a juice, like an energetic juice. That's one reason why you should exercise, because of your circulatory problems and because of your heart problems. And because the food we're eating today is not the greatest nutrition-wise, that you want to flush all the ne negative stuff out of your body. It helps your attitude. It gets rid of stress. It gives you more energy. How long will the effects last once you stop exercising? I know you shouldn't stop, but what, how long will it? You want to hear the sad, tacky part about exercise? The minute you stop, it all goes away. Is mm. that terrible? Oh, that's awful. It's just like a fire. When the house burns to the ground, that's it. Go collect your insurance. When you, if you exercise for a week and you get very sore because you did too much, and the next week you don't do it, when you return to exercise, it's like starting over. You eat every day. Hopefully you go to the bathroom every day, and you've got to exercise every single day for the rest of your life to see any results. You know, when I show on my, when I'm on my television show, I show a picture of somebody who weighs 300 pounds, and then we all clap and they come out and they're 150 pounds. But you never get to meet them and know them and know what they went through when they were 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, Debbie Franks, one of the ladies in our show, has now lost her first 114 pounds. Oh, my gosh. And she has 180 pounds more to go, Bob. She was almost 500 pounds. How long did it take her to lose that much? One year. One year. She lost 100 pounds in one year. Do you know how many letters we get now? Because they're rooting. They're rooting for these six people. Debbie Franks, come on, do it. Jim Abrams, come on, do it. And we're just getting a real good teamwork here. How long per day for one year? Went to class every day. So that's an hour a day for an entire year, 114 pounds. Boy, that certainly seems worth it. Uh, you know what? She's not looking gaunt. She doesn't look like, you know, one of those care posters. She looks like she's losing weight. She's toning up. She's getting stronger. When I first met her, Bob, she couldn't do one sit-up. Not one. Oh. Today, she does 100 sit-ups a day by herself. And that, to me, is just astonishing. Are you married, Richard? No, oh, I have four dogs. Uh, when you travel as much as me, uh, I've been on the road now 198 consecutive weekends. And when you have that much that you want to do in your life, it's very hard to share that. I think a relationship has to be based on time. How about uh, one of your favorite exercises for us right now? Can we do that? Uh, have you ever done it on the radio before? Oh, radio exercises, they're my best. All right, right sit up straight. No matter where you are, you're in your car, you're at home, sit up nice and tall. 
Hold your stomach in. Now inhale through your nose, Bob. Get all that air in. Blow it out through your mouth. And repeat that five times. Let that air circulate through your entire body and keep wonderful posture today. That's the exercise you should do. Wow, oh, that feels good already. It feels terrific. Breathing is the best thing for you. Without it, we're dead. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Bob Berry. Thank you for listening to Bob Berry's Unearthed Interviews. Be sure to subscribe and rate our podcast on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find all the episodes at wisconsinbroadcastingmuseum.org. Check out Bob Berry's book, Rock and Roll Radio Milwaukee. Book sale proceeds support Angels Kids Fund and Donate Life Wisconsin. The preceding program was made possible by a generous contribution from Terry Bond.